All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, everybody. This is your girl, Miss Hamilton, coming to you today with another episode of Miss Hamilton Talks. Um, you want to borrow how much money? What's that? Say what now? I know you didn't. All right, guys, before we get into this, because I know this man that just not asked me to borrow half a billion dollars. I, I know he didn't. He, he's lost his everlasting. Yes, he's lost his ever-loving mind. Okay, we're going to get into this in a few minutes, guys. But before we do, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share this channel. All right, guys. Yes, I'm going to give you a few minutes to like, subscribe, and share. And then we're going to jump into this. Okay, I'm going to make a few notes here. And I'm going to shout out somebody, too. Let me tell you. I'm so proud. We have crossed a major threshold in terms of subscribers and I am going, myself and my team are going to go in and find our hundredth subscriber. That's right, folks. We have made it to a hundred subscribers. And before we get into this, I want to thank you so very much for your continued support. This is not easy. And thank you for the comments. I love reading your comments. You guys are so Funny. I love windmilling in those comments. So I'm going to let you continue to cook and then we're going to serve it right on up. OK, so let's get into it. All right. For the hundred subscriber, um, I'm going to reach out to you. I want you to send me a way that we can provide you with a gift card. That's right. The hundred subscriber is going to get a gift card and that gift card is going to have a cash value to it and you will be able to spend it however you want. I just need to know the best way to get this to you. And as soon as I get that name, I will announce it on next week's episode. So for every 100 subscribers, you will receive, wait for it, drum roll, please. Please wait for it. Drum roll. You will receive a hundred dollar gift card from yours truly, Miss Hamilton, for being our 100th member. That's right. So for every 100 members, you will receive a one hundred dollar gift card. That's right. Because you know why? I appreciate you. Continue to like, share and subscribe and tell your neighbors and you too could be the 100th subscriber. For those of you who are currently subscribed, thank you so much for continuing to stay down with me and be supportive of the work that I do. The purpose of this channel is to talk about politics, education, and spirituality and what those things mean to you and how I can break it down for you a little further. So without further ado, we're going to get into today's topics. Okay, guys, let me tell you, um, oh Lord, the leader of the clear people, the leader of the clear people has come to me and asked me for half a billion dollars, half a billion dollars. I, I, listen, I, I don't even know. I, I don't even know why he thought that that would be the option, sir. This is how you don't have that responsibility. First of all, sir, listen to me. I'm going to say this for those of you in the back. I'm going to say this for the clear people. Guys, this is not normal, okay? I'm going to say it again for those of you who are in the back. This is not normal. The leader of the clear people has uh, come forward and asked for half a billion dollars. He cannot afford to pay off the bill that he has gotten himself into. He has gotten himself into quite a bit of trouble. And I'm going to read off a list of those charges because I really need you guys to truly understand this is not normal. This is no way is normal. The, uh, here we go. So we have several key cases that are currently active and going on. That means legal filings. Okay. Legal filings under this man's name. And the, I can't even listen. I have five calendars keeping up with this. We have the first cases, DC Trump case, United States versus John Donald J. Trump. Okay. We got number two, the New York 2016 election interference case. All right. New York election interference 
interference case, um, the people of the state of New York versus Donald J. Trump, Georgia, the state of Georgia versus Donald J. Trump. All right. The state of Georgia versus Kenneth Chesbro, the state of Georgia versus Sidney Powell, the state of Georgia versus Mark Meadows, the state of Georgia versus Malik Meadows. Uh, next, the state of Georgia versus Jeffrey Clark, the state of Georgia versus Jeffrey Clark, the state of Georgia versus David Schaefer, the state of Georgia versus Kathleen Latham, the state of Ver the state of Georgia versus Sean Steele. And next, the Mar-a-Lago case, United States versus Donald J. Trump, the U New York civil fraud case. And we're going to talk about that. The people of the state of New York by Letitia James, attorney general of the state of New York versus Donald J. Trump, the E. Jean Carroll suit, E. Jean Carroll versus Donald J. Trump one, E. Jean Carroll suit number two versus Donald J. Trump, Trump, Colorado, U.S. Supreme Court, 14th Amendment challenge, the Colorado Republican Party, U.S. Supreme Court, 14th Amendment challenge, the main 14th Amendment challenge, the Oregon Supreme Court, 14th Amendment challenge, the Ninth Circuit, 14th Amendment challenge from District uh, D, Arizona, John Castro versus the Arizona State of Secretary of State, um, Donald J. Trump, the Fourth Circuit, 14th Amendment challenge from SDWVA, John Castro versus West Virginia Secretary of State, John Castro versus John Donald J. Trump, South uh, SD Florida, Massachusetts State Ballot Law Commission, 14th Amendment challenge, Bruce Chafee versus Massachusetts State Ballot Law Commission, Donald Trump, Illinois State Board of Elections, 14th Amendment challenge, Stephen Anderson versus Donald J. Trump, Barbara Lee versus Donald J. Trump immunity case, Trump January 6th civil immunity case, January 6th riders U.S. Supreme challenge to the scope of 18 U.S.C., Code 1512 C2 Fisher, Joseph Fisher versus the United States. All right. Now, for those who are checking their calendars frequently and simply want to know what the most recent update is, since, you know, these things are always constantly changing and evolving, I will continue to do my best to bring that information to you. But today, folks, we're going to talk about um, uh, our good, our good, our best friends, our good sisters. All right, we're going to talk about them today. Fonnie Willis and Letitia James. That's right. Fonnie Willis and Letitia James. We're going to talk about them today, but guys, because they seem to be the only people who can follow through and make sure that uh, this crime, the crimes, let me put a period on it are being um, prosecuted properly. I don't know if everybody else's head is in the sand, but these two sisters, their heads are not in the sand. And for that reason, we need to continue to pray for them. Uh, most recently, our good sis, uh, Fonnie Willis, DA Fonnie Willis, that is attorney DA Fonnie Willis, right? She was at an Easter egg community gathering and she was supporting the children through a program called wave and she was giving out easter eggs and setting up the candy eggs and making sure that she was doing the work of the people unlike some of the folks that we're going to talk about today but she was out doing the work of the people most recently was stopped by the press and she said in the press snippet that she wants Donald J. Trump to know that the train is coming for him and she will continue to do the work of the people because she's the only person that has the balls, the cojones, the ability, the strength, the fortitude, as well as the intelligence to do so. She is the only one guys, she and one other person. Letitia James so you mean to tell me out of all the people in the world the only people that can stand up to this this clear person is is uh two sisters is that is that what y'all mean to tell me so who who has somebody has put somebody has taken the cojones off of these uh I don't know somebody and put them in their purse get the cojones out your purse get them out and I tell you what, you know what, I appreciate that. But before we get any further, that's the reason why we're going to pray for this sister, Letitia James. The face off between Donald Trump and Letitia James, the New York attorney general, 
uh, could uh, reach a denouement as soon as Tuesday when James assumes the legal right to begin seizing the former U.S. president's assets in lieu of $454 million, a fine Trump says that he cannot meet. So I'm going to say this again for those of you who are in the back. Letitia James has the legal right to begin seizing the former U.S. president's assets for $454 million. Now, I checked up under my couch seats and I did look around. I went to my um old, old, old Lord stash and I said, Lord, uh, I don't have $454 million for the clear people's leader. I don't have that Lord. So I, I'm going to have to pray for him and hope that he can figure out how to come to some moment in, in, in time with Jesus and say, you know what? I am wrong. I have wronged the people of the United States. I have wronged the people of the state of New York. I am wrong. And I have to pay for these sins of my father because he, he was a slum Lord. He, he, he was a very bad person. And I went right into the business and did the same exact thing. But you know, they say the apple doesn't fall for the tree because the sins of the father surely shall pass to the son. Now let's keep going. All right. But anyone expecting Sheriff Anthony Miranda of the city of New York to show up at a premier property of Trump's or on Fifth Avenue and, and cart off all of the fancy faux Louis Louis the 14th furniture or the golden cherubs or the crystal chandeliers or that th they think they're going to chisel the 24 karat gold from the from the corners of his house may be thoroughly disappointed let me tell you why collecting on a financial judgment is very slow and very arduous okay and that's according to the New York real estate attorneys okay it is hard no one wants to do this Se seizing property to satisfy a judgment is very complex due to ownership and titles so yeah everybody's getting so excited and talking about oh they're gonna seize this property you know and but but here's the thing guys here's the thing it's very difficult and that's not the business that that Letitia James is in. She is not in the business of taking assets, but she will because this man has broken the law. This is not normal, folks. I can't st stress this enough to you, but I have somebody that you might, you know, be willing to listen to that's going to tell you why this is not normal. I want to share this. I was watching MSNBC and I said to myself, let me share this clip because I, I think sometimes when I say this is not normal, I, some folks may need to hear from other people, but let's 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 take these sisters down for just a moment and we're going to come back to these images and let's take a look at this right here. I want to play this for you. Listen to this because I promise you it's not normal, guys. Well, before we get into the weeds, it's really worth remembering this is not normal. <laughs> I mean, th we get so inured to the details that Sometimes we forget to step back and we have a, a, the major candidate for the Republican Party tomorrow has got to pony up um, basically half a billion dollars or there's they're going to start taking his assets or um, he's going to um, in a, just the neighboring court is going to have a judge decide the trial date for his first criminal trial. That's sort of the big picture of two things that are sort of happening tomorrow. Um, and just getting into the weeds now of the judgment, it's worth also remembering where we are now. In the last week, what we have seen is his lawyers telling an appellate court, please give him relief because he, he is broke. He cannot pay this money, essentially. I'm sort of skipping over some niceties, but he, the, basically it's like, we need help because we can't post it. And you have Donald Trump saying simultaneously, oh, no worries, I've got the money. Um, so here's the thing, folks. Um, if he had the money, he would have spent the, he would have paid it. But but he he hasn't. There's a reason why he's waiting to the last minute. His tactic is and will continue to be delay, 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 right? Uh, this fine, he, 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 his son came out and, and Eric Trump said, um, that this, this fine doesn't exist. So they're going to separate themselves from reality rather than face the truth of what they are dealing with. 
right? So it's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So I want you guys to take the time to think about that. All right. So we're going to pray for Letitia James as she continues to move forward because we understand that this, this, this is bizarre, right? The president, this candidate for presidency is, he has a debt over his head. He's committed crimes. Help me to understand why is it that the folks that would elect this man don't understand that he himself is not a good person he himself has a lack of character a lack of morale a lack of integrity and and yet people still want to put this man in office so what does it say about the people who are willing to turn a blind eye to his um the way he chooses to live his life you know what it says is it says that this is their choice it's absolutely their choice. They get to choose who they want to vote for. And I think they should. I think it's important. I think that when we look back at it, see, first of all, Letitia James office is going to likely send out a letter of garnishment to every bank in New York and the U S requiring them to freeze Trump's bank accounts and deliver the cash, the bonds and possessions held in security deposit boxes to her office. That's number one. He's already been assigned uh, a, 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 some, a special counsel to be over his, over his finances for the next three years, right? The humiliation and the weight of that is incredible, right? Because why would he think that that would be what he would want for himself or his legacy going forward? It's amazing to me. We all know, and let's say it together, folks, we all know the only reason Donald John, Donald John Trump is running for office, the only reason he's running to be president is because he thinks that it will keep him out of jail. He isn't running to make, quote unquote, make America great again. And the idea that some of the folks out there are, are believing it, and, and it's like, I, I've never seen anything like this. He's the worst candidate of them all. And some folks said to me, oh, well, and um, we'll drop down in the comments in a second. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me go to the comments real quick and so I can read some of the interesting, uh, interesting thoughts that folks had to say. And we're going to come back to this. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, let's see. Where are we? Give me one second. Oh, here we go. Here's a good one from Diana. Uh, let's see. It's called freedom of speech. We all have. Hey, Diana. Uh, you, of course, are, she's talking to me. She's saying you, of course, are entitled to your own opinion, just as I am. You're absolutely right, Diana. You are. It's called freedom of speech. We all have to do what is what we feel is best for us. Thank you, Diana. I agree with you. You have and are entitled to your right to vote. So whoever you choose to vote for, I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm just telling you about what I see on the news. I'm telling you what I read in the newspaper. I'm telling you that I could never cast a vote for someone so horrific and so free of morality and truth. I could not do it. Now, whatever you choose is best for you. You know, I don't know how, how or why, but hey, Let's see what else we got here down in the comments. Um, Scott asked me, are you scared of the truth? No, Scott, I'm not scared of the truth. I love the truth. The truth and I have a wonderful relationship. Let's see who else. Uh, Christopher Combs. Uh, I haven't heard a more deluded, nonsensical diatribe since I saw a flat video, earth video in my feed. Wow, Christopher, I I don't know what you watch, but I don't even see flat earth videos in my feed. So maybe you should consider your circle, sir. Not sure what's going on with that, but hey, whatevs. Uh, let's move on. Um, 
DD401 commented, I still haven't seen a single law Trump broke. Um, but I've seen dozens of those going after him have, um, well, Dee Dee, I, I, ha- I don't think you have looked. I think we've, they, they've laid it out. Check the prosecution records. As a matter of fact, whenever you get a chance, Dee Dee, and I don't know, um, if you read like the papers or, um, but you can take a look at just security. That website, it has a master calendar of Trump's court dates, criminal and civil, and it is constantly updated. It was updated as recently as of March the 22nd, 2024. Um, make sure you check over there because it has all of the legal schedules and all of the court dates. You see, Didi, they don't take you to court um, as a former president unless they have probability there's this thing in the united states in law that we we have to have what's what's called probable cause in order to take someone to court you don't haul no one hauls the former president of the united states and secret service and all the all the apertures that come with that no one hauls them into court without some legitimate reason as to why now You may not be practicing law. I certainly am not. But what I can tell you for sure, one thing for sure, two things for certain, no one would take a former president to court, have him have a mugshot taken, um, have testimony of dozens of people. No one would invest that kind of time effort, energy, money, if there were not a valid reason as to why, if there were not something that was done that was um, less than ethical. And I'll go so one more step further to say that if in fact, the leader of the clear people, um, if in fact, that person uh, was What's, what's the one I'm looking for? If in fact that person was innocent and he had bukus of money, which he doesn't, but if he had that, then going to court and getting this name, his name cleared would be paramount. He would be rushing, but this man is delaying, delaying, delaying. And so I, I, I know because you guys are here over here on my page, you have to have some reasonability in your thinking. You must have some thoughts in your mind that say, you know what? I'm a reasonable, logical human being. Why would they take Trump through all of this? Why would they do this without probable cause? But let's, let's take that off the table. Why isn't Donald Trump working fast and fervently to get through these cases? Why is he delaying? Because he is trying to delay justice. And it is my belief that the only people that would support that kind of foolishness. Do I need to finish that sentence? What kind of people would support a man doing this unless there was something in their own character of question. So I'm going to leave you guys with that question for today. I want you to think about it. Uh, Drop down in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you feel about it. Do you think that Donald John Trump, the leader of the clear people, and someone asked, asked me in the comments a couple of weeks ago, they said, who are the clear people? People you can see through there. Duh. All right. So drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think that Donald John Trump uh, should rush to court to get clear his name and move on so he can continue to um run for office did he did he need to do just that is this really for the people who like and love him does he really care about you all I I don't think so I don't think so I I probably care about you more I don't think this man cares about you 
I've not seen one single thing he's done other than, <clears throat> excuse me, folks. <clears throat> I haven't seen one single thing he's done outside of self grandize and run a woe is me campaign. <clears throat> Why would you support that? Why would you give your money, your time, your effort to that? But hey, like my good friend Darlene said, or Diana said, uh, this is freedom of speech. You got to do what's best for you. And I respect it. Do what's best for you, honey. But also think about <clears throat> generations to come. Sorry. The pollen <clears throat> Claritin is worn off. Guys, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to Miss Hamilton Talks. There's a new episode every Monday, and I'll be back in front of the camera next Monday with some new information regarding D.A. Funny Willis, Letitia James, and all of our favorite leader of the clear people, Donald John Trump. Have a good day. Bye-bye.